state that this could, communism could directly affect U.S. policies. That is true, but the negative feels that it will have a negative effect on communist policies. The world has looked up, and still does in some cases, look up to the U.S. for the, the capitalistic uh, values that it's preached throughout its long history of uh, the success stories. There's many success stories of the little people who make it up to the top simply because of capitalism. Capitalism. Our opponents say that there's hordes of, of people uh, in New York and Los Angeles walking around with no jobs yet they, or as our opponents said, they have rock star syndrome and they want to achieve these great goals and popularity and fame yet they have really no means of doing that but that is entirely uh, <coughs> untrue in, capital, in our capitalistic society anything is possible. I mean some of the most successful people have been uh, dropouts or bums or nobodies and they revolutionize the world and our opponents really seem to me as if they want to, they, they say they want to redirect the workforce, make us more effective, but what they seem to take away is that hope, uh, that perseverance that drives all Americans to make them be, to go above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, I'd like to get into my second contention, which states that communism has never been successful on a large scale. For the first couple years, uh, communism has, in particular in Russia, or the several decades that it was in uh, Russia was communist, it wasn't the most successful state. For the first couple of years, it uh, you know, came off the blocks running, but after that it started to decline drastically. And really, the only reason that it was able to linger was basically because of oil. But um, we, we feel that, again, it, it can't be successful on such a large scale, and especially when you want to switch over from a, a form of society, a way of living that has already been proven, uh, which would be capitalistic uh, democracy, basically, and switching over to a capitalistic society like Russia and China. But as you know, with Russia, Russia uh, fell, their government fell uh, in the early 90s. China is a mess, in a nut, basically. Uh, they, as my uh, partner stated, there's widespread uh, famines, there's, there's poverty, there's an insane uh, birth rate and population over there. It's out of control, and as you I've noticed over the last couple of years, decade or so, uh, China's begun to adopt more capitalistic-like um, policies and, and started to reform their government. So if anything, they're becoming less and less of a communist state. And the negative also will not acknowledge uh, China as a successful communist state because there's never been a successful communist state. 